From the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is Space Shuttle Columbia Launch Control. The countdown for launch of Columbia on Space Shuttle Mission STS-73 is continuing on schedule this morning. The window for launch of Columbia opens at 9.50 a.m. Eastern Time and extends for two and a half hours. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus three hours and holding, and all seven of our astronauts who are planning on flying this morning are present and accounted for at breakfast. Everything continues to run smooth and uh, with the vehicle, and all of the astronauts uh, have uh, been awakened and they're on schedule. Uh, we have uh, Catherine Thornton, mission specialist, as well as uh, payload specialist Fred Leslie, Albert Sacco. Uh, this is our pilot, uh, Kent Rominger, who will be flying for his first time today. Seated next to him is uh, mission specialist Michael Lopez Alegria, uh, making his uh, first flight into space today. And seated next to him is uh, our commander, Ken Bowersox, uh, the commander of this seven-person crew, making his third flight into space today. And to round out the crew, we have Fred Leslie, uh, payload, or mission, yeah, payload specialist, as well as uh, the third uh, mission specialist, uh, Catherine Coleman. All crew appear to be alert and ready to fly, uh, make this uh, uh, final attempt, we hope, at launching Columbia today. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus three hours and holding, and we have live TV coverage of the crew donning their flight suits in the crew quarters. Commander Ken Bowersox is uh, again suiting up for uh, this attempt to launch today. Uh, Commander Bowersox uh, was a pilot on STS-50, the first United States microgravity laboratory, and most recently served as pilot on STS-61, the first Hubble Space Telescope servicing mission. He's been joined by his pilot, uh, Kent Rominger, uh, who is a highly decorated Navy pilot whose last assignment uh, with the Navy was uh, uh, during a Desert Storm, where he served uh, as operations officer for Fighter Squadron 211 aboard the USS Nimitz in the Arabian Gulf. Fred Leslie is uh, one of our two payload specialists who will be flying today. He's making his first trip into space. Uh, Leslie holds a world record as a participant in the 200-person freefall formation uh, as a skydiver. He's an avid skydiver. That occurred back in 1992. The crew members are being assisted uh, with their launch and entry suits by suit technicians from both the uh, Kennedy Space Center and the Johnson Space Center. Michael Lopez Alegria uh, was born in uh, Madrid, Spain, uh, grew up in California, and has been a naval aviator since 1981. These suits are partially inflated to uh, allow for added uh, comfort and protection. Mission specialist uh, Kathy Coleman preparing to make her first trip into space today. Uh, she was born in South Carolina. And she's done some research for the uh, Air Force and set endurance and tolerance records as a test subject in the centrifuge program. Albert Sacco, uh, one of our two payload specialists, born in Massachusetts. He'll be working with the uh, crystal growth experiments aboard uh, this space shuttle mission. This will be his first space flight. Payload Commander Catherine Thornton, uh, 
the most experienced as far as space flight goes. This is her, she's preparing for her, preparing for her fourth flight today. Again, she will be the payload commander aboard this mission. She's been an astronaut since 1984, and she's flown on missions STS-33, STS-49, and she was a spacewalk specialist aboard STS-61, the Hubble Space Telescope servicing mission. This is Shuttle Launch Control, T-minus three hours in holding, and we have uh, live TV coverage of our seven crew members who will be flying aboard Space Shuttle Columbia this morning. Again, they're coming out of their crew quarters, uh, getting onto the elevator, which will take them down to the Astro Van. Commander Bowersox with payload commander Catherine Thornton, followed by the rest of their crew member preparing for their drive out to the pad and for their greatly anticipated launch today. But at this time, everything continues to operate properly. Uh, no technical issues are being worked. And we're just a few seconds from coming out of our hold at T minus three hours. And we are at T minus three hours and counting. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 43 minutes and counting. Uh, the crew has arrived at the pad and they are in the process now of entering the vehicle. Uh, Commander Ken Bowersox is preparing for his third mission aboard space shuttle. Commander Ken Bowersox has uh, entered the vehicle and now uh, preparations are being made to assist Albert Sacco in entering the vehicle. He is one of two payload specialists preparing to fly today. Preparing next to enter the vehicle is pilot Kent Rominger uh, on his first trip into space. Next to enter the vehicle is uh, Kathy Thornton. She is the payload commander for mission STS-73 and a veteran of three shuttle missions. Catherine Coleman, or Mission Specialist 1, is a captain in the Air Force and preparing for her first flight into space. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus two hours, nine minutes, and counting. Uh, five of the seven astronauts are already on board the Space Shuttle Columbia. Uh, Fred Leslie at this time is preparing to make his way aboard the orbiter. He is one of two payload specialists on this 16-day mission and is responsible for the fluid flow experiments in the space lab. At this time, Michael Lopez Alegria uh, is preparing to board the vehicle. Uh, he will serve as the flight engineer on this mission. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus 48 minutes and counting, and we have a live video, a live TV of the uh, shuttle training aircraft departing the shuttle landing facility, uh, being piloted by uh, astronaut Bob Cabana, and he will remain aloft in this uh, shuttle training aircraft uh, through the duration of this count today and through uh, launch. 
This is Shuttle Launch Control. We are at T-minus 20 minutes and counting. Completion on 817 and 818. Copy. Safety console 818 complete. I copy what I'll give you 971. Copy. This is the launch director conducting a poll for a continuation of the count through launch. Uh, payload director. Payload to go, Jim. Copy. Engineering director. Uh, Jim, engineering is go. Copy. SNMA director. Uh, Jim, obviously, until we get the range thing resolved, we're no go. Copy that. Uh, range weather. All constraints are green. Copy that. And uh, Columbia, uh, as soon as we uh, get this problem cleared up with the range, I think we'll be in a configuration where we can uh, uh, launch today. So have a good flight, and we'll see you back here in uh, a few days. Uh, Jim, thanks a lot. We're looking forward to getting on orbit and getting to work. 34. Okay. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus nine minutes and holding with just right. under 40 seconds remaining in our hold. And those words from Launch Director Jim Harrington to NASA Test Director John Guidi that we will pick up the count at T minus nine minutes on time. And if we don't have word from the range uh, that uh, they have resolved their problem, then we will hold at T minus five minutes until that problem is resolved. All weather issues have been cleared. Uh, we're not working any weather concerns at this point, either from a launch standpoint or a return to a launch site landing abort uh, point. We are four minutes away from picking up the count. T minus nine minutes and counting. T minus nine minutes and counting. We're in the process now of retracting the orbiter access arm that uh, permits the crew to enter and depart from the orbiter Columbia. T minus five minutes and counting. CLT OTC perform APU start. We have a go for APU start. APU start in work. CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. No problems Flight are being reported from the crew. Visors and initiate O2 flow. The test team has worked really hard to get you to this point. It's your turn for a great 16 day mission. We're closing our visors and uh, we can't wait to get to work. Let's go for EP LH2 pressurization. T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. Launch operations continue to go well this morning as the Space Shuttle Columbia soon will begin its 16 day mission to continue microgravity research. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 50 seconds and counting. And we are transferring to orbiter in internal power at this time. Columbia is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up for a go for auto sequence start. T 
And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's, Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20. T minus 15 seconds. 12. 10. 9. 8. 7. We have a go for main engine start. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. And lift off, lift off of the Space Shuttle Columbia, catapulting scientific knowledge through microgravity research. Houston now controlling Columbia underway on its 18th trip to space, rolling on course for a 172 mile high, 39 degree inclination orbit. And roll program. Columbia's altitude 15,000 feet. Three engines on board Columbia are now throttling back to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Columbia's speed now 800 miles per hour, altitude 34,000 feet, three nautical miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia, go ahead, throttle up. Oh, we heard you that time, Blaine. Go ahead, throttle up. Three main engines on Columbia now back at full throttle. Columbia is now airborne for one and a half minutes. It's burned almost two and a quarter million pounds of propellant already, weighing less than half of what it did at launch. Three main engines on Columbia working well at full throttle. Good hydraulic systems, good electrical systems. Altitude now 100,000 feet. 14 miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia traveling 2,800 miles per hour. Flight controllers are standing by for burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket first stage, upcoming in just about eight seconds. Good solid rocket booster separation is confirmed. Columbia now on its three main engines, second stage. Altitude 185,000 feet, 38 nautical miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia traveling at 3,500 miles per hour, continuing in a steep climb. Columbia, performance nominal. Performance nominal. That call to the spacecraft indicates that performance of the first stage solid rockets was just as planned. Columbia, two engine Ben Guerrier. Two engine Ben. And a Columbia can now perform an emergency transatlantic landing at Ben Guerrier, Morocco, if required. All systems continue to be go. Altitude 250,000 feet, downrange from Kennedy Space Center, about 65 nautical miles.
bank sucks, well, we'll let you know.